Hello and welcome to another Super Hall Sunday. So, it's Sunday today, you may have guessed. And but it's time to do a misguided haul. Now this isn't just any misguided haul. This is a, I want to make sure I pronounce her name correctly, so I'm just going to get it up on Instagram. Fanny Leckman. Fanny Leckman. I'm going to go with that's how you say her name. So, I mean, you guys will have all seen her Instagram. Yes, she's pretty sassy. She's brought out a collection with misguided. And I thought, I'm going to test it for you all and for myself. So, her style is like not really my style, but I thought, you know, we're trying new things, we're gonna test it, like we're gonna see what I make of it. And yeah, I thought it'd be different to try something outside of my comfort zone. So it's a lot of like pleather and like crisscrossing. And I mean, I'm sat here right now in like the most floral little jacket thing you could ever dream of. Um, this is from Boohoo. You can use my code Misha20 to get 20% off until the 21st of March. Yeah, this is like a little blazer. And then I've just got like a little cami underneath and then these accessorized necklaces. But anyway, we are gonna get on with the good stuff. So this is such a small misguided package for me. It's really weird. Um, Cause you know, shopaholic life. But to be fair, the collection isn't that big. Like there's not that much of it. And I literally bought it when it first came out, but I'm not sure, has any of it sold out? Who knows? I'll get off the website and then I can quote prices at the same time. Well done, Misha. Well done. Okay. First things first on the Rillis. I'm gonna go to the yellow because, well, stay bag, stay bag. We all know I'm a huge lover of yellow. So this is like a jersey t-shirt. No. I'm liking the like misguided packaging. I feel like they don't normally give you these. I'm quite liking that, like with the logo on them. So, I feel like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the misguided collection of the, like Fanny's collection, it's still strange calling her Fanny like I know her, it's very in keeping with Sarah Ashcroft's style, I reckon. Don't know, do we, do we, do you agree with me? But here we have the little, what does it say? Something, something, tomboy. F L X M G. Oh, that's clever. So it's like Fanny Litlin X Misguided Racing. Oh, that's so clever. And then, like, it just has like tomboy on it. I don't know what size I got this in. I got this in a UK four, and it seems like quite like oversized. Like, I'd say that looks like more of like a 10, but then I think it's supposed to look like that if you get me. And it's just like a little cropped tee. I love the colour and the fabric is actually really nice. Like the quality is really there. Does kind of look like an old PE t-shirt, but you know, that's fashionable now. So yeah, I'm quite impressed so far. I say that and I've done one item, but you know, it's the thought that counts. I feel like I'm getting ill right now. I'm glad I can't spread germs through the camera because I really do feel like I'm getting ill. This can't be fun because my birthday's my birthday's tomorrow when you're watching this. Oh, I can't believe it's my birthday tomorrow. Not literally because I'm filming this on like Friday, but anyway. This top is, why am I struggling so much? I thought it was 65 pounds then. I was like, what did I pay for? But no, that's her knee high boots, but she's just wearing them in the photo. This t-shirt is 18 pounds, which isn't like mega cheap, but it isn't mega expensive. So I feel like if you want something from her collection, you could just get like the t-shirt if you wanted to save some bang. No, some buck, not bang. Okay, so here we have this top, which I've literally just kept my select joggers on that I was wearing. Um, and I actually feel like this does look quite cool. Like I actually quite like it. So I'm just gonna look at the mirror. Like the shape is really nice. It's a really nice fit. The quality is really nice. It's not too cropped that like your boobs would hang out. Not that I have anything to hang out as we know, but anyway, yeah, it's a really nice, top is just not that me but that's not necessarily a bad thing like i'm i do quite like it like being a bit different obviously the colors very me it's more like the text style but you know maybe i'll turn into like a little motorway girl that's kind of what this reminds me of anyway next item oh, okay no this was the piece that i thought was most me because it's a nude denim jacket which i think is quite a cool concept so this one was £45, which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't very much for a denim jacket. I'm going to have to put that down because it's just not going to plan. 
I can see there's like a chain on it, and I feel like maybe if I removed that chain. Oh, okay. Okay, this is this is not a denim jacket. I was so wrong. Okay, I completely forgot I ordered these. Okay. So these are combat trousers, and I don't know if you, I got them in a six, I probably should have got them in a four, looking at it. Also, can I just say, I love the labelling, like they've fully gone to town, like they thought of every single detail. My only issue is, like, I love these pants, and I have some in a similar style, you know, like the camo ones from the Carly Bible Misguided Collection. But A, they're quite see-through, and B, look how wide that is. Like, that's one leg. I really don't know how these are going to look. Like, I'm extremely intrigued. Like, they... I don't... I don't know. This little, like, added feature, it's not really me, but it's quite cool. Like, I feel like I would maybe try. And then also, I feel like you could literally... I feel like Lewis was literally wearing this as a necklace. It literally looked like this. If you're, like, really cool, you could, like, double up and use the chain from the pants. That's, like, a little funky neck. Obviously, I'm not cool enough to wear necklaces like this. But some people are, so we'll pretend. And yeah, I mean, I just, I don't really know what to think of these. I guess we'll see when I try them on. So, I like the colour. I really like this nudie colour. Oh, but I should probably tell you the price of these, because these weren't what I thought they were. I won't lie, I don't even remember ordering these. £50, is that right? No, they look different in that photo. I am a hot mess today, I deeply apologise. Okay, yes, these were £50, which... I think that is a little bit pricey for like the fact under my lights they look a bit see-through but testing time when I try them on so let's hold So on. here we have the camel pants and I love the aesthetic of these but they are just far too big. Mm -hmm. I think it's my fault for getting them in a size that like I thought they wouldn't have any give in them so I wanted to get a bigger size but they just, I just don't know if you guys can see that they are just a loosey goosey moosey mess kind of so great potential my bad sizing but i'm also not sure this fabric is right for what is required of it if you know what i mean like it's not really the right fabric to use for trousers this sort i think it needs to be a heavier weight fabric because it's so like light that it, it is strange like i love them and i hate them at the same time next so i got these which are premium bandage rib high-waisted leggings Leggings. I said that so weirdly. Leggings. But the reason I picked these up is because, well, we all love a good legging and I wear them very often, but I feel like all of them are see-through and all of them get holes and all of them look a bit naff. So I thought I'd try... Ooh, that's an interesting fabric for a legging. Which, I feel like they mean about the ribbed. Oh. Okay, under the light, they look see-through, but should I do like a stretch test? Oh no, actually, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. So I got these in a four, which I'm regretting because they look like they're not gonna fit, but we'll go with it. I'm gonna be squeezed into these, but they're not like, the feel of them isn't that great. They feel a bit weird for a legging fabric, but I feel like, I'm feeling a lot, it seems. I feel like they're gonna do their purpose. They're gonna do a good job. And I'm very intrigued because I think we all need a good pair of leggings that aren't see-through, that aren't gonna rip when you bend over. Like we just need a good pair of leggings. And I know they're quite a basic piece to pick from the collection, but I thought it was like quite a good testing piece because everyone, basically everyone on the planet needs black leggings. I said it, everyone on the planet needs black leggings. They really don't, but you know. These were 25 pounds, so that is quite a lot for leggings. So I've got high hopes, people. I've got high hopes. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Ba -dum. I don't really know what I'm doing, but here is the black leggings. Now, they look the part, like they are not see-through in the slightest. They're really thick, like I'm very impressed by them. It's just the feel that I think it would take people a little while to get used to because I'm not used to having non-cotton leggings. Like, they're really strange. They feel, like, rubbery, but maybe all leggings need to be made from this fabric so that they're good enough quality that they're not see-through and that they don't rip. So, shall I... 
can we see? We can't see my bum, can we? We can't see anything. So yeah, these are really great quality and they probably are worth the price because they will last you a lot longer than like two pound ones. Okay, so I did order this jacket. I wasn't wrong and I got it in a UK six. Oh my gosh, so I can literally do a match. Oh, they're not quite the same color. I was hoping I could do like a matching set of like the t-shirt and the joggers, but no. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking this. So it's like a cropped denim jacket. It's got silver buttons. It's got another one of these chains. That's so very her style. But then again, you could just take off the chain and you could make this. I think you could make this denim jacket quite like feminine and girly if you wanted to. Like I honestly do believe you could make this very me. Like I think this would even kind of go with this top I'm wearing. <gasps> oh my gosh, just sat here now. I've literally just come back from the benefit event and um, on the train, oh my gosh that's so funny, on the train I got a Starbucks, it wasn't even a very nice Starbucks, I was really disappointed and then I spilt it all down on myself and I haven't got change since I got off the train and the collar of this top is like crispy with Starbucks, that's disgusting Nisha, I will put this top in the wash straight away. But yeah, I really like this. I'm really like, yeah. The buttons are a little bit shiny, but I don't think that really matters. Oh, oh okay, I managed to undo it. So yeah, this is a very versatile piece. But this one was 45 pounds. And then I'm so upset that they're not the same color, but I still feel like I could get away with it. So I will try them on together, just so we can all see. I feel like I should put everything from this whole look together in one look, and then we can be like, okay, Misha, you're not cool enough for that. Camel nudie jacket time. Now, I have to say, this is my favourite piece from the collection. I really like it, and I think... If I took off the chains, I could wear this with like a lot of my wardrobe. I realised also that I didn't have the chain on before on the trousers. But I mean, obviously these don't really match. I still feel like someone cool could get away with it. I don't think I pull off this look. Um, the jacket's really nice quality. It's like not too thick. It's not like uncomfortable denim because it's quite thin denim. Um, yeah, I think this is probably a little bit too much chainage going on. But... I'm really liking this jacket, it's a really nice colour, like it's like a classy colour. We're on the final item, OMG, oh okay, okay, this is the Fanny Lekman high leg bodysuit and I got this in a UK 4 and I was like again, white bodysuit, like everyone just kind of needs them in their wardrobe, staple go to and um, I was hoping it was going to be really good quality because on the model you couldn't see her nip nips but um, that was most certainly edited out because you would see everything. This is see through as hell, like can we see? You would literally see everything. Don't know how the trial clip's going to go for this bad boy, um, I guess we'll find out. We might need to do some blurring. Um, but yes, the fabric is lovely, like it's so soft and you would be so comfy in this and I love the shape of like the high and then like the square back, it's just so lovely and then it's got like a thong butt bit and like I like bodysuits because they keep everything tucked in but then I also hate bodysuits because of these damn poppers that like every time you go to the toilet having to pop out and pop in like oh I always just end up doing one up and then it unpings when I'm like mid doing something and I'm like why is my bodysuit up here I'm sure I'm not the only person that deals with that but yeah oh, I don't, I'm so annoyed this is really thin because I really like it and this was I'm hoping this wasn't expensive 15 pounds which to be fair I don't think it's worth £15, because unless it's magically not going to show my nipples, which I highly doubt it won't, then um, we got trouble. But, okay, so I'm completely in love with this bodysuit. It's got such a nice shape to it, but it is so see-through. Such a nice shape, such a nice fabric. Like, look at the back. It's so beautiful. It's just so see-through. And even if I put, like, nipple covers, you'd then be able to see the nipple covers. So this is just not a hit, which is so annoying because I really, really like it. That is everything that I picked up from the Fanny... How do I say her name again? Fanny Leckman Collection. I'm now looking on her 
thing and I'm like, oh, I should have ordered that. I should have ordered that. But, um, okay, I swear she's brought out more since I've seen. Who knows? Anyway, those are the pieces that I picked up from the misguided ex Fanny Lexman, that's a mouthful, collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed exploring this collection with me. I am, um, very intrigued what I'm going to look like in all these garments. You guys will have already seen. Let me know down below which is your favourite because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you all have a lovely Sunday. I cannot quite believe we are almost at the end of February. I swear I blinked and February has gone. Like, it's genuinely just disappeared. January was not a great month. February, you have been a lot better. Thank you, thank you. And yes, I will link all the items down below. Make sure to check out the collection. I do love Misguided myself. They're great. Yes, shutting up now. Bye guys, have a lovely evening and I will see you all tomorrow? I think so. I'm not sure. But anyway, stay tuned for lots more videos. Please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. I am very close to 50,000 subscribers, which is halfway to the big play, well, not the big play, like the small play button, but you know, I will happily accept that YouTube. Yes, please. So help me on my journey to 50,000 and then 100,000 and then a trillion thousand. No, not really. But anyway, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Toodle pip.